I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals and welcome to my video. So today I wanted to introduce you to a little trail in Seminole County. It's actually in the middle of an area that is commonly called Black Hammock area, which has quite a few parks, trails, and natural areas in it as well as residential. But it is also part of the Seminole County Environmental Studies Center. And the trail we're going to explore today is the Osprey Trail. In addition to be, it being part of the Seminole County Environmental Studies Center, it is also part of the Florida National Scenic Trail. So before you even reach Osprey Trail, there is a paved trail, bike trail, where it links up with the Seminole County Trail System. Not to mention we've already come across thistles and cattails. So this trail is full of a lot of really interesting surprises. One of the best things about this trail is it's pretty shady once you get to the trail itself. And as you walk in, you'll notice a whole bunch of plant life. Pretty common to the hammock areas here in central Florida. One of them is this right here. Now Florida is home to about 22 different species of oak. And this is one of those species. This is the water oak. I mean, it's a, a young version, so it's not very big. But you can always tell a water oak because the leaves kind of look like duck feet. Like this one right here. That one definitely looks like a duck foot. And they taper up as they go. As you go along this trail, you'll see lots of areas for for people to sit. There's a couple areas like this. And then a little further on we'll see something with a little bit of a shelter. In addition to places to sit, there's some really interesting side trails. Some of them are in need of repair, but others are perfectly fine and fun to roam down. There's a patch of wild violets out of season for the flowers, but you can see the leaves. This trail is under some pretty thick canopy. And if you look up every now and then, you'll notice sweet gums mixed in with the oak, mixed in with palm trees. It's a good place to hike on a sunny day in Florida. In the middle of all of the, the hot beginnings of, of summer here in Florida, usually you see the dying back of some plants, but this is one that you usually don't get to see, not only this late in the season, but this big. And that is peppergrass, Lepidium virginica. Since this area usually has a little decent amount of water in it, you're occasionally going to run across this plant, the elder. This particular one, it's got a couple berries left up, but uh, looks like the wildlife has uh, been out the berries. It's also a little one. There's probably some bigger ones further on. But one of my favorite things about this trail is just the amount of ferns you run into. But you want to keep in mind that where there's this abundance of plant life, there can also be an abundance of insects and spiders. Like this banana spider. Don't know if you can really see her because of her camouflage. But man, she is impressive. And she's young. Just keep an eye out. Don't run into any webs. And here's some elder that are still in bloom that haven't quite got berries on them yet. Now, they're kind of 
on the other side of this little stream. Hard to get to. But they're really pretty. All right, now we're coming up to that covered seating area I was saying, mentioning earlier. And across from it is a bridge over the stream to another shoot off of the trail. You can go a little ways down it, but it does need some repair work to be a decent sized offshoot. So hanging out in front of the seating area, this pavilion, you have a plant that don't really get to see much around here. Now I did a video on its close cousin not too long ago, the dwarf plantain, but this, this is a different kind of plantain. I believe it's a broadleaf plantain. If you notice, the leaves have parallel veins. They're not fuzzy, they're not toothed, and it is in flower, so it is most definitely a plantain, plantago. Now this is just to show you how low the water is, because the last time we were here, the last few steps we're underwater. And here we've come to one of our favorite spots on this trail. There's a nice little pool here, a little sitting area. But if you look real close, the pool has a really interesting color to it almost similar to some of the springs we have in Florida. So you might think that the, the bottom of this pool could possibly have some limestone deposits or some dolomite deposits. So this trail is gonna end up taking us from a hammock into more of a swampy kind of area. And you can tell by looking at the difference of the plant life. Seeing the changes in how dense it is and even some of the types of plants. We've passed some cypress knees and a couple other things you usually see more often in swamps. See, and we've completely come to a different habitat here. Last time we were here, this stretch of water was covered with duckweed. It's cleared up a little bit, so you can see it a little bit better. But that hollow over there and that tree is definitely home to something. Which tells me if you come at the right time of day, you might encounter some wildlife. So just be careful. So at the pretty much tail end of this main trail, there is a bridge that has been closed off for good reason. But around it, you can see some amazing plants. And then there is this thing. This, to me, looks like a water hyacinth, which is an invasive and is clogging up a lot of our waterways. So if you're ever out in the water and see something like this, just keep that in mind. I believe it's also edible and medicinal. So this might be a good one to start harvesting and using just to help clear up our waterways. So just wanted to point out to you guys as we're going along, we're getting further and deeper into the swampy area. We're starting to see these darker marks on these trees by the trail. Just wanted to let you guys know these are water lines, which is how deep the water has gone in rainy seasons. Now you can't really tell very well from the video, but that's about waist height to us and we're on the trail. Just keep in mind when it's wet out, a lot of this trail might be underwater. So this is where I'm going to leave you today. We have come to effectively the end of this trail, even though there's quite a few little uh, offshoots and side trails you can explore. Um, 
Also, just a word of caution, behind me, behind all this grass, is a waterway that leads to Lake Jessup. If you haven't heard of Lake Jessup, Lake Jessup is notorious in Central Florida for having not only the largest alligators of any lake, but the biggest population of alligators of any lake. So this is one area where you really do not want to throw caution to the wind when it comes to wildlife. But this is a beautiful trail and it's a beautiful day here in Florida. And thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals. If you like this video, would like to see more of what I do, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You can find my blog at batladyherbals.com and feel free to find me on Patreon and help support this channel. I also have a shop on Teespring where you can find all kinds of designs that help to promote both herbalism and hiking here in Central Florida. So thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day.